Have you ever stood up and felt that sudden, unnerving jolt of instability? That split second where the world feels like it's tilting under your feet? You might think your legs are strong. You walk, you climb stairs, you stay active. So why does your balance still feel fragile? Like you're walking on eggshells, constantly afraid of a simple misstep on an uneven sidewalk. This is the great balance paradox. You're told to strengthen your legs, but the unsteadiness remains. And it's frustrating. It slowly chips away at your confidence, making you second-guess activities you once loved. But what if I told you the problem isn't in the strength of your muscles? The issue is a connection, a crucial line of communication between your brain, your inner ear, and your feet that has gone dormant. It's like your body's internal GPS has been put on mute. The good news? You can turn it back on. In this video, we're not going to do endless leg lifts or squats. Instead, I'm going to show you three scientifically backed movements sourced from a platform used by top physiotherapists worldwide designed to reboot and rewire this connection. These aren't your typical balance exercises. They might even feel a little strange at first, but they work by directly targeting the root cause of instability, awakening your body's sensory systems and sharpening your brain's response time. Stick with me for the next few minutes and I'll guide you step by step through this simple routine that can fundamentally change your relationship with gravity and give you back the confidence you deserve. Let's begin. All right, our first movement is called the tandem stance with alternating arm raises. I call it the foundation fix because it directly targets the very base of your stability. So why this specific exercise? Normally when we stand, our feet are apart, giving us a wide, stable base of support. It's comfortable, but it also makes our balance system lazy. By placing one foot directly in front of the other, like a tightrope walker, we dramatically narrow that base. This simple change forces your brain to wake up and pay attention. It immediately has to recruit hundreds of tiny stabilizer muscles in your ankles and hips that have likely been dormant. It's like switching from autopilot to manual control. But we don't stop there. By adding the slow, alternating arm raises, we introduce a new challenge, a shifting center of gravity. As your arm goes up, your body's balance point moves slightly. Your brain must now anticipate this shift and send signals to your core and leg muscles to counteract it before you start to wobble. This builds a proactive, intelligent balance system, not just a reactive one. Now, let's break down how to do it safely. First, stand next to a wall or a sturdy chair. Safety is always number one. You want something within easy reach just in case you need it. Now, place the heel of one foot directly in front of the toes of your other foot. Look down to make sure they're in a straight line. Stand up tall. Imagine a string pulling the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Pull your shoulders back and down and gently engage your core muscles. Your gaze should be fixed on a point straight ahead of you, not down at your feet. Looking at a stable point is key. Now with full control, slowly raise your right arm straight up in front of you until it's level with your shoulder and then continue up toward the ceiling. Hold for a second. Then slowly bring it back down. As the right arm comes down, the left arm begins to rise. The movement should be fluid and continuous like two ends of a seesaw. Remember to breathe throughout the entire exercise. Don't hold your breath. Your goal is to minimize any swaying in your hips. The work should be felt in your feet and ankles. Try to perform this for 30 to 45 seconds. Then carefully switch your feet so the other foot is in front and repeat for another 30 to 45 seconds. If this feels too challenging at first, that's perfectly normal. It's a sign that you're waking up the system. You can start by simply holding the tandem stance without any arm movement for 30 seconds. Once you master that, then add the arm raises. Quality over quantity is the rule. A slow controlled movement is far more effective than a fast wobbly one. Now for our second movement, the one I mentioned might feel a bit strange. It's the single leg stance with eyes closed. Don't underestimate its simplicity. This is perhaps the most powerful brain training exercise you can do for your balance. I call it the sensory reboot. 
So, what makes closing your eyes so special? To understand this, you need to know a little secret about how your balance works. It relies on a team of three main systems. First, your visual system, your eyes. They constantly tell your brain where you are in relation to your surroundings. This is the dominant player, the team captain, handling about 70% of the work. Second, your vestibular system, located in your inner ear. It acts like a gyroscope, sensing head movements, rotation, and gravity. And third, your proprioceptive system. This is a network of tiny sensors in your muscles, joints, and the skin on the soles of your feet, telling your brain what kind of surface you're on and how your body is positioned. The problem is, as we get older, we become overly reliant on our vision. The other two systems get lazy because the eyes are doing all the work. So, by simply closing your eyes, we perform a sort of reboot. We temporarily bench the team captain. This forces the vestibular and proprioceptive systems, the lazy players, off the bench and into the game. They are forced to communicate with each other and with your brain much more intensely. You will feel wobbly, I guarantee it. But that wobbling is not failure. It's the feeling of your brain actively creating new, stronger neural pathways. It's the feeling of the system rebooting. Let's go through the setup, and for this one, safety is not optional. It's essential. I want you to find a corner in your room so you have a wall on both sides of you. Alternatively, you can place a sturdy chair on either side of you. You must have something to grab onto instantly. Okay, once you're in position, start with your eyes open. Shift your weight onto one leg and lift the other foot just a few inches off the floor. Don't lift it too high. Find your balance point. Stare at a spot on the wall in front of you. Take a deep breath. Now, only when you feel stable, gently close your eyes. Instantly, you'll feel your ankle and foot making dozens of tiny, rapid adjustments. That's your proprioceptive system working overtime. You might feel a gentle swaying. That's your vestibular system kicking in. Your goal is to start small. Aim for just 10 seconds. If you need to open your eyes or touch the wall, that's fine. Reset and try again. After 10 seconds, slowly open your eyes and then place your foot down. Take a moment, then switch to the other leg and repeat. Aim for three rounds of 10 seconds on each leg. As you get more confident, you can slowly work your way up to 15 and eventually 30 seconds. This is a powerful, powerful exercise. Treat it with respect, prioritize safety, and you will see remarkable improvements. You fixed your foundation and rebooted your sensory system. Now it's time to put it all to the test in the real world. That's what our third and final movement is all about. It's called reactive balance with a ball toss, and I call it the reflex trainer. Real world balance is rarely about standing perfectly still. It's about how your body reacts. It's that moment when you trip on a rug or when someone unexpectedly bumps into you in a store. Your body has a fraction of a second to absorb the force, shift your weight, and stay upright. This is reactive balance, and just like a muscle, it needs to be trained. This exercise does exactly that. By tossing and catching a ball, you are creating a simple, safe, and repeatable surprise for your body. Your brain has to track the ball, predict its path, and coordinate a whole body movement to catch it, all while maintaining your center of gravity. It trains your reflexes to be sharp, fast, and automatic. So when you face an unexpected challenge in the real world, your body already knows what to do without you even having to think about it. It's the bridge between exercising in your living room and walking confidently out in the world. Here's how you do it. First, You'll need a ball with a decent bounce. A tennis ball is perfect, but any small playground ball will work. And you'll need a clear patch of wall. Make sure the floor around you is completely clear of any clutter. Stand about an arm's length away from the wall. Your feet should be about shoulder width apart, with your knees slightly bent in a relaxed athletic stance. We'll start simple. Toss the ball underhand against the wall with your right hand and catch it with your right hand. Do this five times. Then, switch hands. Toss with your left hand 
and catch with your left for another five repetitions. Get a feel for the rhythm. Now, let's increase the challenge. Start tossing the ball to different spots on the wall. Aim a little to your right so you have to take a quick sidestep to catch it. Then aim a little to your left. The goal is no longer just to catch the ball, but to force your feet to move. This is what trains that reactive stepping reflex that saves you from a fall. After you're comfortable with that, we'll move to the final progression. Toss the ball with your right hand, but catch it with your left. Then toss with your left and catch with your right. This action of crossing the midline of your body is a fantastic challenge for your brain's two hemispheres, improving coordination and reaction time even further. Aim to do this entire sequence for about 60 to 90 seconds. Have fun with it. Don't worry if you drop the ball. The simple act of moving to get it is part of the exercise. This is the final piece of the puzzle. You are now training your body not just to be stable, but to be resilient. And there you have it. Three simple, powerful movements to rebuild your balance from the ground up. The foundation fix, the sensory reboot, and the reflex trainer. By doing these, you are actively rewiring the vital connection between your brain and your body. But the most important part of this journey is consistency. So let's quickly answer some common questions you might have. First, how often should I do this routine? My advice is to aim for consistency, not intensity. Practicing these movements three to five times per week is a fantastic goal. Even just a few minutes each day will create more lasting change than one long, exhausting session once a week. Make it a part of your daily routine, like brushing your teeth. Second, is it really okay to feel so wobbly, especially with my eyes closed? Yes, 100%. In fact, if you don't feel a little wobbly, you're not challenging the system enough. That feeling is your brain hard at work, building new pathways. It's not a sign of failure, it's the sign of progress. Always stay safe by using support, and I promise that wobble will lessen over time. And third, when will I feel a real difference? While everyone is different with consistent practice, Many people report feeling more confident and sure-footed in as little as two to three weeks. You'll notice it in small moments, turning around in the kitchen without reaching for the counter or walking across a lawn without looking down. Now, I have a question for you. Which of these three movements was the most challenging for you to try? Let me know in the comments below. Reading your feedback helps me create content that truly helps you. And finally, this video is just the start of the conversation. If you want to dive deeper into topics like nutrition for stability, other exercises, and the science of healthy aging, I invite you to visit my blog, which is packed with articles and resources. You can find it at www.seniorvitalityhub.blog. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you found this helpful, please subscribe and become part of our community. Let's continue to get stronger and more confident together.